Hey guys, welcome back. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about aeration systems. Now, what are aeration systems in wines? Well, usually they're just a small tool or they can be a large decanter you might see or they might be a small tool like this that sort of helps air get in with your wine, mix with your wine and sort of speed up the oxidation process. Why do we want that? Well, we often want that with young wines because sometimes if you drink a wine too young, it hasn't really come into its full form, right? It's not really its full character, it hasn't really had time to soften those tannins, it hasn't had time to let the full character of the wine come out. So you might want to aerate your young wine because you might want to let it sort of catch up and really come into its full effect, its full character. Um, you can also sometimes see this, for instance, if you don't have an aged Chianti. If you open it and you try a glass, um, it might have a different character. It might be a little light body, it might be kind of soft. But then if you drink it maybe after an hour or after you've had dinner a little bit, you'll see that the flavors really kind of explode back into that wine and you get a really nice wine. Obviously it's good both ways, but you can sort of see the difference between the character and it's something really interesting to explore. Uh, so that is one reason we aerate. We might also filter through an aeration system our older wines or our wines with sediment um, because some of these can actually help, especially this tool here, there's actually a filter to sort of filter out that, that little dusty stuff you get in your wine. You might find it sometimes. And so those are why we use these tools. Now you might see in like a really nice restaurant, a decanter, those big glass uh, vases where we pour the red wine that's usually an older red wine and we let it open up for a time. We also do that for older wines because we do want the wine, if it's been there for a few years, we want it to open up and really come into itself. But these small aeration systems, mm, I would say they're a bit better for younger wines that you're drinking at home that you want to experience rather than a really nice old wine. If you are getting a very nice wine, I would recommend getting a proper decanter. But for now, I want to tell you guys about these little aeration systems that are just really nice because they're small, um, they're easy to have with you, and they're easy to grab, and you don't have to wait as long as you would with a decanter. So, also just a first note, sometimes you don't necessarily need an aeration system. Sometimes it might be enough just to open the bottle of wine about half an hour or an hour before you're going to drink it. Then, of course, if you're at dinner though and you just open the bottle and you want to drink it, you can use one of these systems. So the first tool I want to show you is this one, which actually just goes right in the bottle. The wine comes through this tube, and it has a few holes here so that the wine mixes with the air inside this spout. So I'll show you. We just push it in, and it fits really nicely into the bottle, and we're able just to pour our glass directly. Um, this, I think, is especially great if you are kind of going from glass to glass, you're serving people at dinner, it's in the same bottle, it's really nice. So you have your wine. The other tool, which is just really fun because you can leave it on the table, it catches all of these spills. Um, if you see, there's a stand here with a filter that will catch all of your spilled wine. This is our next little tool. Now, this one is good maybe if you're going to mix wines as well as if you have a wine with a lot of sediment. As I mentioned, it has this little filter that goes on top that catches all of that dust. Then the wine comes in here, there are two spouts with that the air comes through, and then it'll pour down into your glass. And with this one, it's really nice, you just put your, uh, you put your glass right under there. Careful not to pour your wine too fast or too much because here it is a small tool and it takes time to go through so you don't want to overflow your wine. So just start pouring. You can stop there. And there you go. And it is going to drip a little bit. So you can let your glass there a second, but then if you pull it away, there's no problem because there's a little filter and a little catch on the bottom here, so you won't end up getting wine all over your table. So those are how these two aeration systems work. And like I said, I really love them for sort of dinner at home, especially this one with the spout, just because you can stick it in there and pour your glass as you will. 
I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you let me know what you think about aeration systems. If there's one you particularly like, if there's one you use more often at home, please let me know and I look forward to hearing from you. Cheers!